Welcome back to our 7th Annual NICE Projects Presentations event. Next, we will move on to the yellow wallpaper, which was such a fun, short, short book to uh, look at this year. We, had, we got so much out of it in our podcast discussions and in our workshop. We just really went so deeply into it and everything. The quote that we had for um, the standalone passage goes like this. I really have discovered something at last. Through watching so much at night, when it changes so, I have finally found out. The front pattern does move, and no wonder. The woman behind shakes it. Sometimes I think there are a great many women behind, and sometimes only one. And she crawls around fast, and her crawling shakes it all over. Then, in the very bright spots, she keeps still. And in the very shady spots, she just takes hold of the bars and shakes them hard. And she is all the time trying to climb through. But nobody could climb through that pattern. It strangles so. I think that is why it has so many heads. They get through, and then the pattern strangles them off and turns them upside down and makes their eyes white. So that was, that was like a very powerful passage for all of us. And um, Sarah E., I am hoping you are ready to share your ready. textile piece that you made. I am so excited because it turned out just as creepy as I envisioned. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, I'll show it to you here, but then I'll get like a close-up vision. Ooh. Oh, those are oh. Barbies. I those love are Barbies. it. Those yes. Barbies are enmeshed in the yellow wallpaper. <laughs> So let me do a share screen so you can have a better a better oh, look. At awesome. This. So one moment as I pull this up. That was kind of creepy. It's very creepy. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! That's great. All right. So what this is is it, it is a a not a literal wallpaper, but I found some uh, uh, wrapping paper that had this kind of abstract floral pattern. And so that's in the background there. Mm -hmm. And then the textile is the yellow textile, but I wanted it to be something that could fray since we have disintegration of the wallpaper that's being torn. Um, and wallpaper itself would have been too opaque for that. But I wanted it to weave so that it felt like the women were emerging, but also that they were trapped. And so oh I wanted gosh. it to be not just the whole bodies, but we kind of see in passages of the yellow wallpaper, particularly talking about the heads with the bulbous eyes. Yeah. But I wanted like some hands and, and it's a little hard to see from this angle, but uh, the, the arms are emerging forward to get you. Right. Um, so it's 3D. It's it really, yeah. Uh -huh. that's, and, a, that's a great oh Halloween decoration gosh. too, by the way. <laughs> and I'll do a, a couple other close ups of things so that you can see some of the things close up. But, but I, I purposely wanted it disembodied because I feel part of the statement that's being made uh, by the author is, you know, the, the woman isn't fully being treated as human. And there is this image of, you know, the perfect wife, the doll wife. Mm -hmm. um, and so I felt like that was kind of important to show. I mean, that's kind of, we, when we say Barbie, sometimes what we mean is someone who is that, that fake plastic woman. Um, so now I played with Barbies as a kid and didn't feel that. But I think that is a way that we perceive that in pop culture. So my dad, who was a psychologist, would not let me have Barbies because mm -hmm. of that expectation of he thought it was just too much of like this perfection that was impossible. And he didn't think that was good for little girls. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's so, so cool. Look at that. So you can so barely neat. see like there's the, the wallpaper in the back. And I had mm -hmm. so much fun just weaving body parts in and out. And Spike uh, <laughs> heard me cackling. And it's so creepy, honey. He's like, ah, don't know. <laughs> So, and I'll do one more uh, little close-up. So That's great. See. I love that. And for the rest of your life, it can be a Halloween decoration. I just love it. There we go. <laughs> well, I think that there, if there's going to be a reprint of the book, that someone should come knocking on your door there, Sarah, because you got their cover. Yeah, go. that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. There we go. <laughs> so, and then this one, just another close-up. Oh, one. gosh. Because <laughs> I wanted to focus in on that head popping mm -hmm. out. So excellent. excellent. I've had days like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. 
Oh, <laughs> Melinda. What I have to say about that. That's awesome. Melinda, would you like to read another, I believe it's a haiku, B. Monet's haiku, untitled for the yellow wallpaper? Sure, I'll give it a go. Oh, I just, I liked your reading, so you're, you're one of us now, so you're, <laughs> you're just stuck with us forever. <laughs> uh, this one is also untitled. Um, All right. Strung by hope, falling. Paper walls have seen it all. A helpless witness. That's great. Good job reading it. And I think she's hit the nail on the head mm -hmm. with um, this, the story and, and the passage uh, mm -hmm. as a standalone passage, too. I think that's uh, excellent. That's a great job. All right. Now... Where is my, oh, I don't, uh, did I not print out my own poem? Uh, I had the, oh, it's not a poem, image. right? This is an image. Sorry. I was thinking I had a poem. Yes. This is my image. It's called, can you see me? And I, I will say it's a digital image. And what I, what I did is I started out with, um, this is actually compiled of several different uh, small um, Art Nouveau pieces that I didn't create. They're, I, I put them together and I mixed them up and I changed some of their colors and I put in these faces. And because in our discussion of the yellow wallpaper, we had we ended up also discussing that Charlotte Perkins Gilman was herself a racist, and so I wanted the faces to be darker. I wanted to bring um, otherness that she was unwilling to accept in her real life into the project that I was this this image that I was creating for our project. I wanted to give them a visual that you know, somehow would kind of like, I don't want to say make up for, but, you know, go against her attitude in real life. Does that make sense? And this is what I came up with. And it's kind of got the grossness of kind of toadstool looking uh, flowery things. It's, you know, it's not, the, if this were wallpaper, it would drive you mad, you know. So that was my inspiration and my thought behind creating this uh, digital piece. It's very unsettling, and I love the pink highlights. Yeah. It has this garishness to it, which is delightful. Thank you. I, I really, I, you know, it's hard to, looking at it now, I'm like, I took so much time in picking every little color in this thing mm -hmm. <laughs> that it's hard to remember how tedious that was. But um, it was also fun in a tedious kind of way. But um, I've never made anything like this before in my life. I, I've Beautiful. never, in my artistic, you know, adventures, I've never created something like this. So, um, but I felt it was very fitting for how I felt about the passage, the book, and Charlotte Gilman or Charlotte Perkins Gilman as a as a human woman she was a feminist but she was a racist and that contradiction in my mind uh really I struggled with that um reading you know reading the yellow wallpaper again I've read it before many times but reading it this year I struggled with that a lot we talked about it a lot in our podcast and our workshop and everything so so that's what I came up with I love it all right. So yay for the yellow wallpaper. That Oh, no, we have one more for the yellow wallpaper. Right. Um, uh, Deborah or Sarah, um, not, I shouldn't read. Uh, would you, one of you read Z Rose's untitled piece? I would love Deborah to if she's willing. Another cold <laughs> read. We're really putting you guys on the spot, man. <laughs> Z Rose. And this is, you said, is untitled as well? Yes, untitled. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's a reason for everything in science. The nightmare can be cured. Positive thinking and herbs meditate and grow your garden. Tend to the mirrors in the morning, clear as crystals, yet no luck losing hair because I care. The reason isn't written on the wall. 
losing the Nobel Prize to Neighborhood Mother of the Year, withering away into the background, taken over by guilt and self-blame, decorating the zombie look of defeat, waving white paint to cover up, losing again, strangled by the wall. Ooh, that was a good one. Good read and good poem, Zeros. Good read, Deborah. That was amazing. Thank you. Wow. Um, That's fantastic. I'm going to go back and read that one again later. I know. <laughs> Join us next time for the next part of our 7th Annual Nice Presentations event.